Creating an event. Creating an event is one of the most important steps when building your evaluation. Once your event is created, it will automatically appear in the Skillshark app. If you're on a paid account, you'll have access to unlimited events. Having unlimited events allows you to assess players multiple times a year if you choose. This helps coaches know where players are at mentally and physically throughout the season. Okay, let's create your first event. Make sure you've selected events from the left hand navigation. From here, we're going to click Add New. You'll have the option to select a tryout camp showcase, a team evaluation, or a self-assessment. Since we're evaluating a large group, we will select tryout camp showcase. Please note, if you'd like to know more about self-assessments, simply head to the report section and click self-assessments to watch the tutorial. Now, go ahead and name your event. Make sure you input the start date and time. If you have a camp spanning multiple days, we recommend putting an end date. If you need to hide player names or positions from evaluators, you may do so here. Please note, events are automatically moved to the past events section 24 hours after they end. Okay, the next step is inviting evaluators. Simply type the evaluator's email and click add to event. Then make sure you check off all the boxes for the evaluators you wish to invite. After you hit continue, you'll be asked if you would like to notify evaluators, or continue on. We usually like to inform evaluators, especially if they are new, so we're going to select send emails. Any new evaluators will be sent an email with instructions on how to get started. Add players. We're now ready to add players. Since we only want to evaluate our U11 players, and we've created a list for each age group, we're going to select specific player lists. Selecting our U11 list and hitting continue. You can now see your event from the dashboard. Please note, you can edit your event at any time, meaning if you need to add more players or evaluators, you can easily do so. For example, if I recently uploaded new players and didn't tag them to upcoming events, I can click Edit on my event, select Players, and hit Not Attending. I can now easily add any new players to my event. The three dots to the right give you the ability to export player data to Excel, or duplicate your event. Duplicating event works great if you're evaluating the same player group or for self-assessments. When creating multiple self-assessments, you might want to use similar questions or make slight revisions. You also have the ability to score players by simply clicking Evaluate from the event. If you'd like to lock your event to limit any changes after an evaluation, simply hit the toggle beside the lock icon. If you want to export data from all your events, select Export from the dashboard. Creating events is just that easy.